what's going on guys and welcome to your 19th HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be writing our first CSS program now as I told you in my earlier tutorials that with CSS we can pretty much customize anything we like and let's say I create some tags like P and I say my first CSS program or basically CSS program would be good I guess and let's add one more line I am loving it basically it's I guess McDonald's tagline but who cares let's reload this and we have got the HTML as expected now let's customize this a bit with CSS now to work with CSS first of all what we need is the basic syntax of CSS is inside style tag the basic syntax is the element name then a curly braces which is shift and pressing I don't know like the curly braces key on your keyboard mine is next to P but I hope that yours is same so anyways press shift and press your curly braces and these curly braces will appear in your text editor and I'm telling you about the syntax the element name the property to customize a colon which actually separates the property and the value of property and a semicolon to end this statement so we have element name to be element to be customized in this case which is P so let's fill element name with P now we want the property to customize and let's say um, I want to change the color of this text so in C CSS we have pretty much similar names just like we have in English so we want to customize the color of this so property would be color and remember that in computer science you write color as c-o-l-o-r and uh, not, uh, not as c-o-l-o-u-r l-o-u-r like that so we have c-o-l-o-r we want to customize the color and the value of the color would be mm, let's say green so I want that P tag should have a color of green and how do you write that in this per, uh, curly braces so that your style interpreter know that you are applying this color green only to this section of code which belongs to your P tag. Now let's save this and reload this and as a result if you see then your CSS is uh, your line is converted into green color now it has a green color now mm, let's say I want to have what do you say to change the font size of this so what I'll do is as I told you I want to change the font size so you have now guess the property name yeah it would be font size and just like the color one it would accept uh, it would be separated by a colon and then a property value which would be which would have basically pretty much like uh, various type of values like we have pixels we have em we have point we have rem and we have a uh, couple of more I guess but most commonly used is pixel at em so how do we use that we write font size as a numerical value and appended with the unit we want so 14 pixels would technically mean uh, if you know about pixels then good but for those who don't know about pixels then go ahead and come very close to your computer screen and you would kind of see your computer screen as a collection of very very small dots and one dot would be a pixel for that 
and if your dots are not visible and or if you are seeing this tutorial on your mobile then this is because your mobile is very you can say high quality uh, resolution so it has a lot of pixels so but if you are doing it on a traditional LED screen monitor then you would see pixels when you zoom up your head inside your computer screen so now we know about pixels that they are very small dots on the screen so technically font size would give us the height of each letter as pixels so font size 14 pixels means that each letter in this should have a height of 14 pixels so now let's reload this and as you can see now the height of each character is 14 pixels now if I change it to like 54 pixels now we have the height as 54 pixels so for example from this point down here you see the topmost point to the bottommost point my screen has 54 pixels all the way down and similarly like this and this I have 54 pixels all the way down so that's how we work with CSS and that's pretty much the syntax of is a normal CSS applying to an element and in the future tutorials we'll be learning more about the syntax of the CSS and more properties and values of CSS and obviously we would be learning about CSS3 which is very cool and latest standard of CSS so I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching